Hello buddies, so in this video we are going to see about uh, the material designs, the latest release 1.3.4, uh, the experimental API, so the carousel API only we are going to see about, so it is a uh, latest unstable version, it's the experimental API, but we are going to check, so this is the carousel, it will look like this and it will, they are telling like it will work like this actually, the animation, uh, the fluid animation it will come for this scroll okay so carousel so let me start we will start in this one okay yeah let's jump into it so first of all we will start from the versions so uh, if you create a new project defaultly you will have the uh, lib android material 3 so uh, in this one the usually if by default what it will have it it doesn't have this version dot ref okay so it will have this blank without version it will have it will be a stable version which is the stable version it will accommodate to that okay so when we are going uh, when you want to implement this one you have to use the version called 1.3.0 okay material design so then only you can use the carousel this uh, carousel which we are going to implement okay so now we, uh, we are going to start okay we have a uh, uh activity with the carousel okay so it will be a very short video we can finish it so fast this is just implementation of carousels okay so i have a carousel uh first i need to stop telling so i'm telling so many shows in single so <laughs> video so i am going to avoid so in the for this video okay uh let me start with uh the carousel so first we are going first i'm going to uh create one data class okay so uh, the same thing so this is exactly from the documentation what they did for the example i'm going to do that example and i'm going to show you how it is it is working or not and how it is working okay so that is a blog so from their blog only i'm going to do so there is nothing change the same thing what they did i am going to do it in my way okay fine okay so then uh data class carousel item okay inside carousel item well id int okay then we are going to add a, a drawable drawable resource rgs resource okay okay then well content description so actually we don't need a content description but i'm just adding it okay for demonstrating we don't need so carousel we added that one okay so using this carousel we are going i'm going to uh, create one list okay item is equal to remember remember where is it r e m e m b e r remember okay first Okay, in the remember list of okay carousel item okay carousel item zero comma what is that r dot id dot okay so i already have i already have five images in the travel uh, travels okay so uh, i am going to add that travels in here where is it uh, the mouse image one image two image three those things okay what happened okay image one then some images so it is like the image one will be this image it will be only dog okay so i am doing multiple times the same thing okay yeah fine so i'm going to add okay i want to use so much else. okay four okay so image also two three four why my system is loading stacking today okay okay then turtle then something car girl okay i'll just close it and do it like it car car okay 
page okay so now we have the list of items okay so from this list of items so previously we have what we are having is horizontal pager to do carousels we will uh, add a scroll item and the horizontal pager we will do a carousel it will be like a carousel i think we also have one video with that horizontal scroll pager so this will be how this they are having currently they are having two things one one thing like horizontal unconditional uh contain uncontainer carousel okay so for carousel itself they are having separate uh composable okay so uh, with that composable only we are going to demonstrate now it's like horizontal uncomposable carousel and multi browser carousel okay so first today we are going to see about this unconditional carousel okay so this one we are having remember carousel state okay remember carousel state item dot count item dot count okay so that is a carousel state then the item width will be 250 dp i am giving 250 dot dip okay so this is the experimental api so we need to annotate this function with the experimental api so otherwise it will give an error okay so uh, yeah uh, wait no 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 there is no so uh now uh okay okay arranged it so we have item spacing also we can give item spacing i am giving 12.dp okay so that's it then content padding we can give padding value start okay total dot dp okay done so modifiers now we are going to add modifiers in modi modifiers modifier dot fill max width okay max width then wrap content height then padding okay this padding is for this one. so what we are adding in the modifier is a padding so this will be for the content okay this padding top will be 16 dp no, 12 dp bottom will be 12 dp okay so i'm just adding it so inside this we are going to create uh the item so it will have one parameter index okay so with that index we are going to take the item okay what is it um value is equal to item this one index okay so with this i'm going to take the, i took the value so inside here we are going to add the image uh, show the images okay so image compose we are taking uh, image compose so in the paint not there is no so okay in the painter um what we are going what i'm going to so uh, if we use the normal painter so painter uh, we can use the painter that is there is a no problem so if uh, if the image size is very low means you can use it so my image size is very big it is like more than 4 mb 5 mb like that i'm having the uh, images so so uh, images in this case i can't use this painter so it will take uh, it can't catch that one so it will take more than so for the, for that i am using the coil compose dependency so if the, if we have this coil comp using this coil compose dependency we can uh, remember async so we can have we have a remember async function so in this we uh, we, we can add a model dot value dot image resource okay now uh, it it will uh, it will it won't break the ui it will reload with async function that way it will break the ui if we added more than 4 mb or 3 mb uh, images means it will crash the application but this this won't do it okay value dot content description okay so in in this inside this one we can add the modifier for this one content scale i am adding content scale dot crop okay so here modifier modifier so inside modifier height height okay i'm giving 350 dot dp okay after height fill max width because it needs to match that max width 
then uh, so now it will be like that so we have uh, this uh, this particularly this carousel have one m a yeah mask clip so usual clip will be clipped but while moving it won't be a fluentable so mask clip will have uh, that fluent action so material theme dot shape dot extra loss okay so now it is done so let me run this one and we can see the carousel is working or not okay the application runs so we have a carousel appear over here so we can scroll it like so you can see uh, the fluent animation of the carousel from left to right right to left okay so if the if the image is in the right side it will show the things right there so you can alter the padding over here so this is the mask so you here we have one more thing so this is mask clip and we can add mask border also so you can add the mask border so after the if you gave any color means it will up, apply over this corner okay so it will be very it's a nice image nights uh carousel. we can use it in the banner side of any attractive UI applications okay so yeah that is fine this is about this video we have a we just need to see the carousel how it is working we'll see in some other new